One day, my mother was out, the cook upstairs, dressing. We had kissed in the garden parlor. I put my hand round her bum and, sliding my face over her shoulder, half ashamed, said, I wish my prick was against your naked belly instead of outside your clothes. She, with an effort, disengaged herself, stood amazed and said, I will never speak to you again. Snatch at her cunt rang in my ears. I had never attempted it since the afternoon in the kitchen. Lacing the boot, I managed to push the clothes up so as to see more of the leg. But resting as the foot did on one knee, the clothes tightly between, a snatch was useless. Lust made me cunning. Suddenly she put out one hand, seized me by the hair of my head, and pushed me backwards by it. I thought my skull was coming off, but kept my hold and pinched or pulled the cunt lip till she hollowed and called me a brute. I told her I would hurt her as much as I could if she hurt me. So that game she gave up. The pain of pulling my hair made me savage and more determined and brutal and slammed the street door violently as if I had gone out. Then pulled off my boots and crept quietly up to my bedroom. There I sat expectantly, a long time, had almost given up hope, began to think about consequences if she told my mother, when I heard the door softly open, and she came to the edge of the stairs. What he? She said loudly. What he? Much louder. He has. She said in a subdued tone to herself, as much as to say, that worry is over. I opened my door. She gave such a loud shriek and retreated to her room. I close to her. In a few minutes more, hugging, kissing, begging, threatening. I recollect I as if it occurred but yesterday. I shall recollect it to the last day of my life. For it was a honeymoon of novelty. Years afterwards, I often thought of it when fucking other women.